welcome back to another video. If you're new here, karibu sana. Tunapenda wageni hapa so much. So if you want to be one of our besties, make sure you subscribe, like even before you watch because let me tell you, I drop hits only around here. So um I've been gone for way too long or rather I've been posting a video na hepa, na post video na hepa. Let me tell you, I don't want to I don't want to put it yeah? I just want to tell you guys I'm back. I'm back. I'm back to like back to YouTube, back to reality, back to like the CC you knew. I am back officially. <laughs> So guys, um, for those who have been here before, um, I know maybe you're wondering, why is this place? So guys, I moved out again. I'm always moving out. Yeah, so um, I'm back to uni. I was on a break because of attachment, but now I'm back to uni and I'm so happy. Actually, I'm so happy. And um, I just thought, why not share a video with you guys today? So I, I, I'm making a meal. I want to make pilau. Yes imagine it's like a very affordable meal because I'm just alone so you can imagine meat is just like a hundred bob 150 for a quarter and usually um, just to help me not be cooking every time I usually make um, a meal for dinner and it will be shahadi the next day you get so Niki kujua maybe lunch na skianja I just warm the food or rather even sometimes I eat it for supper again Imagine how cool is that? So uh, today I want to share with you a recipe on how I make my pilau and I hope you guys are going to enjoy. So if you don't know how to make pilau, let me tell you today I want to give you tips. Tips, yani? The next time you'll be at your friend's place or at your place, you'll make a pilau meal. Everyone will just be like, who do you think you are? So make sure you watch this video till the end so that you can know how to make a very simple pilau recipe i'm going to do from a step zero with you guys okay so make sure you watch till the end so first things first let's prepare let's wash my meat and then we boil it as we prepare the nyanyas and the kitungu so as soon as you have your meat when you want to boil because najua don't assume what water would you boil so um you put kidogo amount of water just kidogo to be able to boil and actually there are those people who don't boil their meat okay this one is even a lot there are people who don't boil their meat but instead they fry i don't know i just saw that recipe I just saw that recipe somewhere and I don't know how it does so I just work with the water I know you just put kidogo amount of water put your meat inside and leave it to boil for around 20 to 25 minutes is a good amount you can put your uh, heat on medium heat just so that the meat can be soft as we are doing that uh, as we're waiting for the meat to boil we cut the other things. So um, another tip for those people who wanna shinanga wakilia time ya kukata eh, kukata vitungu you can uh, dip them you can you cut them katikati and then you dip them in water that has salt for like even two minutes even one minute it really helps by the way now na drop ya two ma tips hapa so let me tell you guys okay leaving alone it is fun and at the same time you can you can easily be so negative in life because here sometimes you just want to talk to someone sometimes you just want to chill with someone so what i normally do either i call my boyfriend and talk to him or i just call my mom or my family Sana sana my mom and my dad. Okay, it's normally my mom sana sana and then my mom uh nambia mama ngo ni pay dad ni onge na eh. Yeah. Who else do I talk to? And some of the friends call me. Some of my friends call me. Hey, let me tell you guys, me I was an extrovert. I had like 500. Okay, I'm an extrovert by the way, but I'm that extrovert who before me adjust now I say I really take time okay not taking time like nine na vibe nikikuja hapo nipate atimna bow atimme chill too 
hamtaki story mimi pia nitapata hivyo nikipata watu wako na good vibes eh hey, that's that's why i thrive that's why i thrive for sure to me funny enough most of the time they just like staying alone honestly some most of the times because i feel like i get time to myself just to just evaluate my life and yeah but i usually go out sometimes with my friends i just have a good time now i know everyone knows how to cut a kitungu na nyanya so i'll leave that step out and then i'll catch you guys when the meat is ready and i'm done cutting my things so that now tuingie tu kwa chapter tuanze upishi sasa okay so remember if you've not subscribed kindly subscribe na just sometimes as you as audience that I sometimes nikiwa watching videos za watu by the way na feeling ah umse ana shida kitu ambacho subscribe shida yake ni nini but let me tell you guys as a as a creative as a content creator personally i subscribe to like hey, ukiangalia the people i'm subscribed to i subscribe to everyone and i watch videos not just sometimes i just let videos play even me one day ebu mark my words I want to become just a full-time content creator on YouTube, on Instagram. Sana sana on YouTube because let me tell you guys, YouTube has money and Instagram also has money, but you have to invest in your craft and it takes time. And me I'm ready for the process. So guys, I just want to ask you guys to support me. As in ukiona tu video yangu yote ime drop, ukiona tu sisi's world, just like, just subscribe, just share sawa so acha niache kuongea sana but nilikuwa nimewa miss that's why i'm talking a lot it's like i feel like i want to create the whole night cuz actually it's at night but yeah so guys ntawapa ntawapa tabadai as the, when the meat is ready and the other things are ready so guys um just stay positive hey okay? personally for me it's been it's been a tough time but uh, that's the past i just want to enjoy this year i'll be sharing i'll be sharing my vision board by the way for the first time i'll i'll try and use the vision board for those who don't know you will know more about that on that video so make sure you always stay tuned and watch my videos guys me kenyan tuna is ataka to kuambia wherever you are whatever you're going through guys god Hey, just trust God. If you don't believe in God, just start believing in God because this hey, God is so powerful. God is so hey, as in he's a God of wonders, let me tell you guys. Anytime you feel low, anytime you feel like this you want to just bring your life to an end, just call upon God because God is the end and the start of everything. So guys, if you're feeling low, if you feel like you're broke, if you feel like things are not going your way, if you want to go back to uni and things are not adding up, if you want to start that business and uoni kama do ina kuja, if you already have that business and things are not going well, guys just trust in God. As in we me I can't even say anything else. Don't trust in anyone, just trust in God. Just trust in God. This like God is so God is so wonderful. I just be sharing here once in a while I'll be throwing throwing some good vibes you know some good 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 good, good, good vibes <laughs> this is my year by the way this is my year this is my year claim that too okay so guys niko sija sasa wacha tungoje ni ni hivi alafu ni onyeshe the next step meat has boiled so what we do we add our onions Then just mix it in to the meat. Afterwards, we just put some oil. As soon as we have our oil in, we mix. Okay, ni ame na mixa na just jamza kupika. So we mix our meat. Just give the onions a few minutes to a few minutes to uh, coat. Just a few minutes. 
give the meat uh, the onions a few minutes to turn golden so that it can make the meal amazing the meat the onions are already turning golden brown also when you're boiling your meat you don't have to make sure like the all the water is drained you can use that water as broth something like that so you can do that too okay so next next you add your tomato nyanya I'm telling you this is a very budget friendly pilau recipe because you can imagine kitungu si ni tembo nyanya si ni ten you need 20 nyama you can buy even from 100 bucks this here nyama ya less than 100 bucks so just to help the meat uh, just to help the tomatoes to tender right you add salt at that moment Mix the meat and the nyanya. I hope you're getting me. I hope you're not lost, guys. I hope to go pamoja. So, no, not time. Yanza ku bondeka inyewe. So, just uh, mix it. And then, make sure your heat is on low heat or medium heat, possibly. Medium heat is best. So as you can see, you only need a jibon at you and you. Let me just give it a few minutes so that it can, so that I can now continue. Joe, by the time I'm back, okay, don't go anywhere, just stay there. But uh, upe nyanyas time kidogo. Equal soft. To make that actually that's the point of the salt to make the uh, tomatoes softer. So let's just do it a little bit. You can hear the sizzling. Let me tell you, the smell that is coming out of here is amazing. Like, I tell you, my Jirani Leo and Shanga, eh? Can you do my medley? I may put a salad. Wow, because, eh, this place is smelling so good. Remember, this is a budget friendly or hustler edition pilau. You know the vibes. Now the nyanya is becoming softer. And me, Kwanza, I don't like my tomatoes. Like, I don't like tasting my tomatoes in food. Like, this is just not it for me. It's just not it for me. It does not do it for me. So, yes, that's what I do. So, uh, tomato iki endelea ku wachana. the process so next I use my tomato paste as you can see I use my tomato paste so tomato paste kuna hadi a 10 bob so me I just buy once just to save na joa ku save kuliko kila saku kindia kwa nini because me I like good food one thing about me I like good food and I like food I like anything that has food in it Nani gets like kitu yote iko na food mimi ni ite tu bora tu ni kitu inakulwa na ni kitu inaweza kulika okay hebu ni ite uone kama i will not come so yeah so we have we have put our tomato paste tomato paste you can find at any retail okay yeah retail shop any shop near you actually can find tomato paste from as low as 10 bob. So next I add my spices. First I'll go in with my garam masala. At this point this is for people who like spices. And then we have cumin powder. The cumin really makes the food taste so good. We have beef masala because it's beef. I just found out that my my what is it called my pilau masala has run out so i'll just use what i have 
so you've seen the spices that i've put in you can already see the food is coming in so well it smells so good it smells amaze balls like manzena skia so yange kula like i can make such a good way or a good cook next i'll go in with my soy sauce sweaty with my soy sauce i use the light superior soy sauce there are people who use the mushroom one there are so many types of uh, soy sauces so you just go with what works best for you honestly i really thank god for provision and i pray for more next on is adding water so at this point you'll need to add water with the number of um cups of rice that you use so personally i always use this cup i use this cup it's it's not a big cup i use this cup i put my rice halfway and my water full because all the time one cup of rice for two cups of water so this is half a half times two a full cup of water so i'll just add in my water And then I stir again, just to give my meal some color, because this is pilau. I want to add some curry powder just to give my food some color. My pilau, I mean some color. I don't, I don't, I don't like turmeric. I feel like turmeric is overrated. I don't vibe with it anymore. Kitambo used to be such a fan of turmeric. Anyway, so you stir after putting your spices, and because uh, the spices also need to get into the food so that it can give the food taste. So add water according to how many cups of rice you'll use. So since I am alone, I feel like that will just be enough. For me. Leave the meat in 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 boil. Your iso spices zingi and ani cook the meat so well. As you prepare your cup of rice, wait for the water to boil. Kabisa kabisa kabisa. Yani you feel it may boil. Kabisa kabisa. Just as you put in your your rice. So when you're doing that also. Always remember to taste the the soup. This is in order to get if the spices zime zime add up well. If the salt is enough, like all those factors, you need to put in mind. Here's my rice. Here's my rice. I'll, I'll, it's like half. Eh. And that is enough for me. I'm just one person. I mean, I eat a lot, but not like that a lot. So that will be okay. Now that our meat, our soup has boiled well, we go in with our rice. Just distribute it well, but no worries. You can just even you can just pour it. Make sure everything is out of the cup. Everything, everything you put your heart in, go walk. That's good. So, when everything is out, mix the rice together with the meat. Well, 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 well. Oh, sorry for that. Mix it well, 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 well. Let your food to rest just let it boil and remember this is below every time you boil every time it's cooking after a few minutes turn like just stir not really stir but turn the pilau turn turn each and every time turn the pilau ndio uko chini pia isishikane na ikuepoa ikauke vizuri you get so let's just wait for the for the pilau to do that itself and then after that actually after that actually will be done like d for done okay so let's just give it time to do its thing after a few minutes turn it turn it till it's done so the next step that i'm going to show you because i've already told you because we are now done it's just turning the food 
after every uh, like five minutes then the food is ready then we serve and eat our meal and say good night or good morning or uh, good lunch whatever it is so guys let's just give our pilau some time to cook as you can see my pilau is now ready and i love it i love it no lie i have tasted it and i think in my opinion this is the best pilau i've made so now we can serve food for one <laughs> Mnaweza kula na macho ama unaweza ingia hapo kwa jikoni upike na uache uzembe. <laughs> anyway guys I'm just kidding. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video and for watching. If you made it till this part of the video, thank you so much. You're a real fan, you're a real supporter. May God bless you so much and may he multiply everything that you do everything completely everything that you do because it means so much to me when you guys watch my videos till the end so thank you so much if you've not subscribed remember to subscribe like don't leave without liking this video be sure to share the link to your friends and tell them that you have a new easy recipe and a budget friendly recipe of making pilau and it will mean the world to me so thank you so much guys i think i'll see you on the next one cheers remember to subscribe bye